Nelly got married. She didn't own a house and moved from place to place frequently. Because they couldn't make ends meet, she and her husband had to live with other people. My brother bought a house, a small house in a slum, and we lived there. We led a very poor life. It was pretty shabby. I had many debts. We had to depend on people to take us to the railway because the car we had was always broken. We bought a tire, <laughs> and the other one got flat. It was always like that. We didn't know Jesus. We'd go to spiritist centers to look for solutions, but nothing worked. Our life was very difficult. We bought things on credit at the grocery in order to provide for the children and ourselves. We never had a new car. I would forget about my children and my husband. I just wanted to die every day. It was awful. It was sad. Things went on for eight years. I used to take 14 medications. When we traveled to Santo Antonio, she would take a bag of pills and we had to stop at a certain place for her to take the medications. When we arrived in another city, she had to take more. I would stay in the bedroom for two days. I would remain there, but my husband would check on me to see if I was well. And I didn't want to take a shower or to eat anything. I was planning how to kill myself. I didn't open the window. I didn't want to see the light. In the 90s, Nelly watched Dr. Suarez's program. I've been a sponsor since before I was converted. Before I knew Jesus because my mother was a sponsor. My mother would sit close to the TV to watch it. And she pulled two chairs for me and my husband to join her. The TV was actually very old and she convinced us to watch it and we liked it. Then I heard the call and I became a sponsor too. I felt the need to read the Bible. I began reading the New Testament and I cried. In 2006, I converted and joined the Grace of God Church. I accepted Jesus there and I've been there for 14 years. It's my home, it's my school, and it's the best school with the best teachers. I love Pastor Shimey. I talk about them with a certain intimacy, though I've never even met them. But it's a family for me, my family. Things began to improve. God blessed us and our life began to improve. The couple was blessed by God and bought a beautiful homestead. It has eight hectares. It's a beautiful homestead. Everybody loves it. The corn is green. Those who go there don't want to leave. It's a godly place, a God-given place for servants to live in. We are farmers. We have milking cows. We have necessary livestock. We have a good life, an abundant life. We have Grace TV, which is a blessing to our home. Oh, dear God, since 2010, I have written in my life project the wish to have a four-wheel drive truck, although I didn't know what four-wheel drive meant. And then what happened? This year, we bought a four-wheel drive Mitsubishi truck. It's so blessed. It takes us everywhere. We need to have a truck here where we live. It's been a wonderful blessing. We have our nice homestead. We have our truck to go to places, to go everywhere we want, you know. All we have to do is jump right in. I'll always be by the side of Jesus. There's no way I'll ever stray from the one who showed me life, who brought me back to life because I wasn't living, I was vegetating. After she encountered Jesus, she threw those spells away. She doesn't take them anymore. Today she is happy, thank the Lord. In the past we would say, no, I won't sponsor anything. I believe it was something satanic actually. Now, thank God, I am a sponsor. When I receive my income, I separate the sponsorship and God has provided all that we have. God is everything to me. There's no one else beside Him or before Him. And there will never be because He's the only one. He is wonderful. <laughs>